whole mall. Yeah, and we did it for free. I asked an ATM for $20, and it gave me 1000 instead. Wait a second, so you spent that money? Well, I, I tried to give it back, but the bank wouldn't take it, and Mary Beth said it would be okay. Yeah, quit worrying. Don't you love her new sweater? <laughs> well, yeah, it's nice, Christine, but that money didn't belong to you, and I don't think you should be spending it. You know, this kind of reminds me what happened to my Uncle Ned. He once stole a lemon meringue pie from a coffee shop. He's had nothing but bad luck ever since. So you want us to believe that because we kept that money, bad things are going to happen to us? Exactly, Mundo. Maybe Eugene's got something. Our situation is completely different. We didn't steal anything. We just picked it up off the floor. Yeah, if we left it there, we would have been littering. <laughs> and that would be rude. Look, whatever. Just think about what I'm saying. Sorry, Eugene, but we're not buying it. <laughs> and that's saying a lot, because today, we're buying everything. Ah! <laughs> oh, we're buying everything. That was a good one. <laughs> oh, no sweater! I'm so sorry. I'll go get a rag. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> lemon meringue. <laughs> you gotta go wash this off. Hi. Hi. <laughs> lemon meringue. Oh, I'm sure that was just a co ink and ink. Hey, guys, we want to. We're doing a story on the game. What? And in local sports, the Deering Montrose game proved to be a rough and tumble one last night. The Deering Tornadoes won the game when the Montrose Falcons lost their top player, Dave Carter, as a result of a collision with Deering's Julie Connor. Now, doctors are unsure whether or not Carter will ever be able to pursue what surely would have been a great NBA career. We wish him the best. And now, here's Hail Stones with the weather. Hail? Oh my gosh, that's, that's terrible. He may never play again. You don't know that yet, Julie. He might be okay. I, I totally screwed up his life. Uh, Julie, it was a clean play. Yeah, it's not like you tried to hurt him. Come on, the guy may never play again. It's my fault. God, it's all my fault. Julie. <laughs> Julie, step in there. <laughs> Julie, go for the steal. You let him go right by you. All right, that's enough. Demopolis going for Connor. You got it, coach. Julie. Listen, I know you're down about this Carter thing, but you got to put it behind you. It wasn't your fault. But, Coach, it was my fault. I'm the one who knocked him down. So what are you supposed to do? Not make the play? Heck, it was a great play. Besides, you know as well as anyone, when you play sports, injuries can happen. Yeah, I know. I mean, look at me. Some days I can hardly walk. It comes with the game. I'm sorry, but I can't help it. The guy's in the hospital because of me. Look, he's not going to the NBA because of me. Look, you don't know that. Look, Julie, this game's a must win. And the way you're playing, the team's got a better shot without you. I'm sorry, but I have to bench you. All right, let's run it again. All right, that's it. Having nothing but bad luck. Can't get the pie stains out of my sweater. Got a nose plug stuck in my ear. Don't ask. <laughs> My cat threw up all over my prom dress. Prom's not for months. Why do you have your dress now? Oh, I just like looking at it. <laughs> Look, the point is, I totally believe in this curse thing. You're not serious. Okay, here's serious, and here's me. <laughs> Say what you will, I am returning the clothes and making the bank. No, no, no. I am forcing the bank to take the money back. This is just a coincidence, Christy. There's no such thing as a curse. No, that's you not trust true. Eugene. Mary Beth, I gotta tell you something. What is it, Coach? Well, you know how I'm having problems seeing out the back of my motorhome? Yeah. Well, I kind of bumped into your car. You bumped into my BMW? Yes, but only a little tap. Oh, good. But then it kind of rolled down the hill. <gasps> it did? Is it okay? Well, they'll know better when they fish it out of the lake. Oh, my convertible! I'm coming, baby! I'm coming! I'm sure it'll dry if you leave the tap down. How was your lunch? 
boiled chicken and soggy rice. <laughs> now there's a good time. <laughs> hey, how about wheeling me down to Mickey D's so I can get some real food? <laughs> you know I can't do that. But there's a vending machine down the hall. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> you? Oh my gosh, look at you. All this because of me? Oh, here, let me get that. I am so sorry. It's me, Julie Connor. Oh, the girl that did this to you. Look, I am so sorry. I, I hope you're not in pain. Wait, your, your leg, your leg hurts? Okay, well, let me adjust it. Hold on. you oh, look i hope you don't mind me stopping by well you probably do now oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry okay i just i just wanted to let you know how horrible i feel that i did this to you here i brought you some magazines and some skittles not that it makes up for what i did or that you could even hold a magazine is there anything else i can do for you you need a hug? <laughs> Do I get a hug, too? Dave! Wait, you're not... Who am I hugging? It's Walt. <laughs> He's a construction guy. Fell off a roof whistling at a girl. I'll take these, Walt. <laughs> What are you doing here? I wanted to see how you're doing. Well, not great. Okay, really bad. Dave, I feel horrible about this. You must hate me. Nah, I stopped hating you a couple days ago. <laughs> you were just playing the game. Yeah, but you were going to play in the NBA next year. That could all be over. Maybe, maybe not. I've got to stay positive about this. Look, Julie, you made a great block. You know, you were doing what you were supposed to do, and I, I got in the way. Yeah, well, I wish this had never happened. Me too. So, you gonna open those Skittles or what? <laughs> Coach, any sign of Julie? No, I don't know where she is, but right now we got a game to focus on. Just to let everyone know, Christy and I returned the money, so we are now officially good luck. So if anyone needs luck, feel free to touch me on the hand. <laughs> hey, there's Julie. Hey, you are good luck. Hey, guys. Hey, Coach, sorry I'm late. I was worried about you. Where were you? Well, I was visiting Dave Carter in the hospital. Sure, that brightened his day. <laughs> what, what do you have to say? Actually, he's okay about what happened. He understands it was an accident and that it's all part of the game. That's what we were telling you. Yeah, I know. I, I guess I just had to hear it from him. So is the old Julie back? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to kick butt. <laughs> all right. Julie, it's good to have you back. Now, let's get out there and win. This is great. Ever since we returned the money, we've had nothing but good luck. Yeah. Julie's back to her old self. I learned not to stick things in my ears. <laughs> Coach feels so guilty about my car, I can torch him for months. Life is good. Uh, I just love happy endings. Yeah.